Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing the Dao Cheng, I hope that's pronouncing it right, from So So Gates. Um, and this is a game about basically trading resources. And I saw this one set up at Eschenspiel and it was the game I wanted to try the most, but seemed to have the busiest demo section. So I never got to try it out, but I'm delighted I got to bring it home with me and review it um, and unbox it with you. Um, so as you can see, the cover is, it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's busy. I love the guy here at the bottom just peeking around. Um, to me, I don't know, I found it really appealing. I wanted to know more about it. And especially when I saw the game set up, I really wanted to see more. Um, so I'm glad that it's here. So this is a game for one to four players. Um, it'll take 45 minutes to play. And it's supposed to leave for ages 10 up and up. Um, so I like I like the box very much. It's a quite a long box. Um, it feels very nice. It's, it's quite grippy, <laughs> grippy. I don't know what else to call that kind of textured stuff. Um, we'll have a look at the back and I have the English rule book here because it was given to me separately. Um, it wasn't actually in the box itself. So have them separate. We'll look at it in a minute. So you can see here kind of what it looks like um, set up. I was kind of intrigued by like these little houses, you know, you get a lot of cubes and this whole area in the middle. Um, so it was super, super interested. So you can see maybe, you know, what I, what I saw. So let's open her up and see what's inside. Woohoo. Okay, so line that up for you guys. Um, I'm gonna look at the rule book first cause it's technically here and then we'll get straight into the cardboard. So it lists the components. It says it's a family game about resources, trading resources for the rest of the world. Okay, um, explains the cards, there are resource discs and cubes. Seems to be a good lot of stuff in it. It's not a very big rule book. Um, it's, it's, it's the size of the box, which is kind of big. Um, fairly thin paper, but waxy stuff. So there's all the setup. Flow of the game, okay. Oh, the player who most recently drank tea is the start player. Ha, it's finally something I can win at. There's a warehouse stage, resource disc sta stage. How you gain resources. Oh, they're in a supply line. Oh, cool. I like that. Prior to the work stage, stuff happens. There's a work stage. Um, doesn't seem to actually be too, like, too many rules here. That's fine. There's final scoring and the solo mode. The solo mode is tiny. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, and then on the back of it, there's a description of the historical event card effects. Maybe we can learn something. Oh yeah, look, there are real historical things. So like the construction of Taipei city walls, the first rail station, it's kind of cool. And then there are some things here on the back. And um, that's a nice light rule book. It's not much to that, it's just hopeful. All right, now, how much cardboard do we read? <laughs> the entire box is filled with cardboard and then just some cards at the bottom. Okay, I love it. So there is a board in there, we'll get to that. Let's have a look. So we got tokens. Some of these nice roundy tokens, they look like, that's definitely a poppy. Um, and I could guess what the others are, but we'll pop one out. Oh, one's gonna pop itself out for me. Um, yeah, this is lovely thick cardboard, nice and textured, kind of like the box. Um, so, you know, nice stuff to play with. Um, down we go. What's next? These are very pretty, aren't they? So I assume these are for storing things like with your cubes. And it's got China, East Asia, Europe. I don't know if we have one each. I'll pop one out. Oh, I like that. These are really chunky. You see that? Like, these are huge. Uh, but I love the colouring. I think they're so pretty. Look at that. I'm dying to see what it is and what all the little things mean. I'll have to look all of that up. And this one is slightly different to this. This one's bigger again. It's got locks on it. It must be very important. So we'll get, we'll get to that. All right. And there are more of these. So I'm wondering if there's two for each player. Looking, looking distinctly like there might be. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so there's two, like there's some for each player, which is grand. So that's all the, so that we have player boards done. We have some stuff to pop out, some of those discs. And now we're down here to the actual game board. Do I have the right? I do. So this was the game board. I liked the look of it when it was set up, but all the discs in the middle, it was very colorful. So it's got room for the event cards on it. Um, it's got some reminders about your dice. So obviously you're rolling dice and cubes. It looks like then there's must be the number of turns. It was played for six turns. Um, more information here to do with cubes and your player boards. And then these nice locations. Okay, okay. It doesn't look too complex actually, but very cute. 
Okay, and then the last thing we have is some cards, and we're gonna have fun opening these. Got my trusty scissors. Do, 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 do. Why do we always have to wrap cards in plastic? I get it keeps them clean and stuff, but every so often you see cards that come in, you know, paper wrappers, and they seem to do just as well. Like if your cards are in a box, they should be safe, and I think I've just damaged one of the cards with my scissors. I am just that clever. Okay. First off, these are linen finish. These are these are lovely cards. Oh, look at the art. So this oh this is the event cards, the historical things. Oh, there's the Ding Zhao conflict. Oh no, <laughs> things are getting set on fire. Not happy. <clears throat> they established the god of the temple. These are beautiful, aren't they? Very cool. English merchant completed the tea manufacturing process in Taipei. Oh, oolong tea. Cool. I like that. There's a little bit of history in here. Very nice, and they're beautiful art. Gosh, the art is stunning. So there's lots of these. Are these all events? No, they were all the event cards. Now we've got a veggie vendor. <laughs> a herbal shop. A tea shop. Makes sense. Numerology hall. Woo! So obviously these are, are places you can go with your cubes. Mansion. More veggie vendors. Oh, and then there's a duplicate of each. And there's a green shop and a mansion. Nice. These are lovely. Oh, wow. Look at the back. Like, they're beautiful. What's the back of the event card look like? Let's have a look. Oh, and they're like this. They're lovely cards to hold in your hand. They're beautiful. All right, so now, let's try and put everything back in the box until I get all my popping out done. It seems like a very big box, actually, um, considering, you know, what's in here. Would you pop all this out? I don't know if you need all the space. Maybe just for the board. Whoop, backwards in time we go on cardboarding. Yeah, I thought there was going to be more of these discs. There is, in fact, few. Very interesting. I really want to try this out. I also like the fact it's got a solo mode. That could be very interesting indeed. So now, I've just unboxed Dadao Cheng. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I was, oh, it's definitely Cheng. Dadao, Dao, yeah. Maybe you've pronounced the Da differently, but I'm calling it Dadao Cheng. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and this looks super exciting. Um, I'm really eager to get it to the table and try it out. And I'll be bringing you a review of it hopefully pretty soon. Um, so thank you for watching. If you like what I do, why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my latest videos. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and questioning my concept of language. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.